Okay, you guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the director, Rashad Humphrey. I'm uh, taking the time to make a special shout out, a special tribute, a special um, thanks, whatever you want to call it, whether it's in the hip hop world or the regular world, to someone very special. But before I do that, I got to tell you a little story. People ask me all the time, how did you get that house? For those of you who saw the trailer, you know the very first image you see is this large, immaculate motherfucking house. And people ask all the time, how is it you were able to get that house? So for all you motherfuckers who are out there at wondering how I got the house, I'm going to tell you a little story about how I got the house. It started off with one lady. I remember I was sitting back in my house where I live in Watts, thinking about where in the fact am I going to shoot this film? This film that for the most part takes place in one location. This script that I have that I wrote that takes place primarily in one place. So after contemplating and thinking, I thought to myself, you know what? There's somebody I probably should call. I'm going to go ahead and give her a call. So I picked up the telephone. I dialed the number and I called this lady. And this is a lady I've known my whole entire life. So after I called her, I sit up and said to her, listen, I got this script and it's ready to be produced. And I can shoot it in, in two days in one location, but I need a place to do it. She said to me, you know what? Send the script to me. I'll read it. She, I sent the script to her. She read that motherfucker. She loved it. Called me back and said, you know what? You can shoot the place. You can shoot this film, this story in my house. But I tell you what, I can't make this decision all by myself. Let me first consult my husband. So I waited maybe about a week, two weeks, and then her husband calls me back and he asked me every fucking question you can think imaginable. I thought that I was being interrogated because I blew up a 747. He asked me, how do I plan on getting the money? How many days do you plan on shooting? What is the budget? What is the distribution strategy? Marketing. All those things he asked me and I sent to him a business plan. I sent to him a PowerPoint presentation. He saw it, he loved it. He said, you know what? You can go ahead and shoot this film over at my house, me and my wife's house, we're in. And of course, as you guys all know, the rest is history. I shot the film in two days at the house and now it's about to come out. And that person who started all of this, who I'm talking about right now, this very special lady is my aunt, my aunt Yolanda James. She's reaching a milestone about to turn 60 years old on September 25th. That's the same exact day that Will Smith, Catherine Zeta Jones, and that old motherfucker Michael Douglas were all born. And she is in the same company as them. She probably could have became an actress, but she didn't. And she raised a bunch of wonderful children and has a wonderful family instead and also was generous enough to sit up and let me shoot in their house and that house that you saw in my trailer how much did they ask for it ten thousand you think five thousand one thousand they didn't ask for a dime not one penny that exists in my meager account that i have over with wells fargo they didn't ask for a damn penny and because of that, I was able to shoot my movie. And I will be ever humbly, internally grateful because my aunt did that. <laughs> so I want to tell you, so I want to tell you guys that because she was very instrumental in the genesis of this project, in the origins of me getting that house that catapulted this whole entire story of this crooked real estate man sleeping around and trying to keep his wife and his cop quiet. None of that would have happened if my aunt wouldn't have picked up the phone and talked to my crazy ass. 
She could have been like, Rashad, you broke motherfucker. I'm not giving you this movie unless you pay me some money. But she didn't do that. She didn't do that at all. She decided to sit up and was generous enough to let me have it for free. And that's the kind of person that she is. And I love you for that. And happy birthday. So when I see you on your 60th birthday, I'm going to give you a hug and a kiss because of that. And I think that you actually deserve a lot of credit because of that. Because this entire thing would have never happened if I did not talk to you and you did not let me shoot in your house. And I want to thank you for not going upside my crazy ass head when you saw me because the carpet was messed up. We, we, we burned a big old hole in the carpet. And I know you were upset about that. And I stayed away from you purposely for about a good seven months because I knew you needed some time to calm down. And I didn't want to be uh, right next to you and catch a left hook while I wasn't looking. So because of that, I thank you for not uh, going upside my head. And you definitely could have done that. But you are an angel and a blessing to a lot of people, including me. So I want to thank you. And for those of you out there, Make sure you go and buy yourself a ticket to go see 400 Will Kill You. It comes out a month from her birthday, which is October 25th. That's right, October 25th. That's when it comes out, all right? If you're not there, you will be rolling over in your grave and you will be saying to yourself, I wish I would have saw it. If you haven't bought a ticket yet, shame on you. That's right, shame on you, motherfucker. Shame on you for not taking the time to go out and buy yourself a ticket and come and see this once in a lifetime motion picture that was shot in two days and done in a style that most people can't do it in. So make sure you do that. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Later. And happy birthday, auntie. I love you very much. Take it easy.